Hey guys, DVD here, and today we have another episode of Japan Crate Unboxings Taste Testings. Yay! <laughs> so it is the month of November, and we have this Japan Crate premium box. If you are interested in getting some Japan Crate, remember to use code DPD to save yourself $3 on your entire purchase. Now with all that introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and open this box crate thing out. All right, so we have pamphlet. So every Japan Crate has this wonderful pamphlet. It's basically a guide. It has every snack that's in here. It has a little description on what it is, what you're eating. You know, a little bio about every little thing that's in the crate. We're gonna go straight down the list here and we're gonna rate these one out of five. And usually every month we give it a nice theme. Let's uh, rate these out of cats. What do cats have to do with cats? Well, November theme. Cozy Cafe. Cozy Cafe, uh, uh, just two C's. I just want, you know, cats starts with a C. We'll sure. just do cats, okay. First snack on the list is Osatsu Sweet Potato Snack. This bag right here, I love sweet potato. I'm not a fan of sweet potato. Yeah, she's not that much of a fan. She loves a I regular- I don't like earthy flavor. Yeah, so yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm of the sweet potato variety uh, enthusiast. So I'm, I'm one of those kind of guys. So the description here, it says bring in, uh, bring in the fall season with a bag of seasonal potato chips. that are a mix of steamed and baked sweet potato flavored chips, so you'll get the best of both worlds. So there we go. It smells like a bakery. Oh wow, yeah. This smell, it smells it smells very sweet. Like like bakery bread, you know? Yeah, it does. It also don't look like like standard chips are kinda like rounded, if you can see. Yeah, some chips are rounded. I mean so what does it taste like? Does it taste like sweet potato? They do taste like sweet potato. Ooh. Not the biggest fan. I don't mind this one because it's not not super sweet potato. Okay. Also, they're like the they're like air puffs. Mmm. You should try one. They're actually pretty good. Pretty good so. in terms of me not liking sweet potato. I actually I would give this like oh. a I'd actually give it like a four. Dude, I, that's pretty good. It's not it's not too sweet. They like taste like sweet potato, but it's a nice like soft hint of sweet potato. Like de yeah. they definitely taste like sweet potato, but it's not like it's not like heavy on the flavor. It's, it's nice and nice and light. All right, next on the list is green apple gummies. Green apple so gummies. here we go. Show the cute packaging. You got like a little apple mascot on the, um, what is that, a trumpet or a... It's a little trumpet. A little trumpet. These fruit shaped refreshing green apple gummies are great for a quick moment to unwind or anytime you're in the mood for a fruity snack to chew on. There you go. So like they're shaped. Are they, are yeah, they like apple shaped? Okay, yeah. little apples, little green apples. What do you call the green apples? Uh, granny apples? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're sweet and they're a little tart. Five out of five. Really All right, good. five out of five Cats. for the green apple gummies. Next we have the cabbage taro. Cabbage. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds that sounds kind of funky here. Yep. I don't like. Taro. Oh, here you go. Cabbage taro. There's a little frog on it. I don't know if that like yeah. that means anything. Fun fact, these crispy and salty corn snacks owe their name to the fact that they're round and cute like cabbages. Oh, so that has nothing to do with actual cabbages. They just look like cabbages. Kids in Japan can't get enough of them, but we think it's one that you'll enjoy too. But yeah, they, they look they look like, um if you ever had like cheese puffs, uh -huh. they look like cheese puffs with a hint of like, what is that, seaweed? Yeah, like like seaweed. seaweed and salt. It says taro, so I don't know. Like yakitori or like oh takoyaki it's more like takoyaki it does right? it does uh, like uh, faintly fried yeah nice and airy i hear that it would just crunch in air i can see by her face she, she doesn't know what to think if she likes it it's sour she, it's, like not like not like candy sour just like but then it's really savory hmm. it tastes like it tastes kind of like takoyaki or like okay. yakisoba huh yeah that's really weird it says cabbage taro maybe taro is the name of the frog you know? Maybe. I can yeah. see where maybe the cabbage comes from. Yeah, the cabbage because they're like little round cabbages, I guess. But yeah, I, I guess it doesn't taste like taro. It, no, it, says, it says nothing here about like the taro flavor. Yeah, I like it. It's like a five out of five cats. Five out of five cats. Cool. Next up, we have the orange balloon gum. So it comes oh, in this no. uh, box here, if I can okay. find it. Okay. We don't usually test out and rate the the bubble gums in these boxes because we're just trying them out or rating them we don't want to like chew it and spit it out and be like you know they're usually pretty it. standard yeah they, they, i mean like yeah i'm sure this tastes like orange and it's it's bubble gum so we're gonna skip this next up we have the twisty marshmallow, Ooh, marshmallow. so uh oh here it is there's a little twisty oh, marshmallow like mascot on it too 
Oh, look at that. Look at him. He's like, he's like hey, I'm all twisty and I'm a marshmallow. But yeah. Ew. <laughs> Do you like my marshmallow man voice? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a sweet tooth, then this fluffy, bouncy, and twisty marshmallow is perfect for you. Oh, look at that. That's, that, that, that looks really fun. Yeah, it smells like marshmallow. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's just a marshmallow. It doesn't taste any different. I'm sure it's just, yep. yeah, it's just a standard marshmallow that looks cool. Cute. Yeah, it looks cute and cool. I'm, I'm sure like kids would love to eat this. All right, so what do you rate it? Five out of five. Five out of five for the marshmallow, you can tell. She likes marshmallows. All right, next up, the Shimmy Choco Corn. Ba bam So periodically, uh, Japan Cray would give us different flavors of these guys, these uh, Shimmy Choco Corns. So this is Shimmy Choco Corn Strawberry Shortcake flavor. We recently had another one a couple of months ago. These guys are star-shaped and strawberry shortcake flavored. They're not just your average crispy chocolate corn puff. So yeah. Yeah, that smells like strawberry shortcake. Wow. Yeah. It smells good. It actually, that's really good. I really like it. So yeah, they're little stars. It's cute. Shimmy chocolate corns are always shaped as stars. The standard, like, basic flavor is a chocolate. Are you are you enjoying sniffing that? Are you I just... miss apple bread. Let us know what you think. First of all, does it taste like strawberry shortcake? Usually there's like a specific taste for strawberry shortcake, sure. but this just tastes like strawberry. Yeah, strawberry and like, like strawberry like white chocolate uh -huh. on top of something puffy. Would you like it? it tastes kind of soggy. I, maybe it's just because like the, the chocolate, you know, is co coating it so much that the puff is no longer puffy. I mean, you're still eating it. Yeah. Three out of five okay. cats. Three out of five okay. cats. Cool. Next, we have the Koala March do it yourself. Each Japan crate comes with a DIY type snack. You know, sometimes they're gummies. Um, you gotta put them together. In this case, it's a chocolate wafer sandwich. Get it right here. So like Koala March is going around um, and they're exploring the safari, I guess. Uh, th these videos already go pretty long, so we're not gonna do this. But I mean, it's Koala March. Uh, they're basically like chocolate filled biscuits with koala prints on them. We, we usually give that a five out of five. They're yeah. good. They're so- Also the yeah. DIYs are always really fun. Like you, yeah, we end fun. up doing it off screen and it's fun to do. Yeah. Next up we have the Kanpai Ramune. Ooh, um, Ramune. Oh, it's the- oh. Oh. That's cool, kanpai. It's, it's a, a little beer bottle. It's a little beer <laughs> glass. Yeah, it's a little beer mug. So cheers yeah. with your friends and enjoy this tasty soda flavored candy that comes in a classic Japanese beer mug. Kanpai, that's cheers in Japanese. So that's what the description says here. They look like they come with little uh, chalky ramune tablets yeah. um, that you could eat. Uh, you could either chew or they dissolve in your mouth. But yeah, this is Man. really cool how like it comes in a little uh, <laughs> beer mug. Beer, yeah. Yeah. It's just Chirin. I don't know if it's like a play on like for Kirin. You know, like Kirin Ichiban. The Oh, Chirin, yeah. So Kirin is a Japanese beer company. Um, they make all kinds of drinks as well. They make coffee and, and tea and stuff. They are a beverage company. And uh, on the on the mug here, it says Chirin, C-H-I-R-I-N. Uh, I feel like she wants to keep the mug. I'm going to. Yeah, she's, she's like slowly, carefully removing the sticker and trying not to have any of that like sticky residue left on the mug. All right, so. Oh, so the cap is a little like the foam. It's a little foamy cap to keep it nicely uh, concealed. Oh. Are you, how many did you put in your mouth? Three. Oh, okay. Four. I, I, oh. I like ramune tablets. Okay. Five out of five. Five out of five cats for the ramune cheered in beers. Uh, we get this also once in a while. These are basically little um, candy shelled covered chocolates. They're basically M&Ms. Um, yeah, try one out and give us uh, a rating. So yeah, they're little uh, little spherical candy balls with chocolate inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, four out of five. Four out of five. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you like M&Ms or any of that kind of stuff, you know. They're a little crunchier than M&Ms. Okay. Though. But you you probably enjoy that. So up next we have the super sour plum gum. Oh, <gasps> I like plum. According to this fella. On here, uh, these seem to be very, very sour. I oh, like I like plum a lot, actually. Yeah, really plum's good. good. So, um, are you up for a challenge? This plum flavored gum. Oh yeah, this plum flavor flavored gum is both refreshing and delicious. Be careful though; it's also super sour. So it's a little sour gum stick it comes here. Too, so you can share with your friends. Yeah. Again, these are gums. You don't usually eat these, but uh, we want to try this out. It's super sour, apparently. So, what do you think? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I 
I think they are sour. Okay, well that answers the question whether it's sour or not, but uh, I mean, do you like it? Would you recommend? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what do you rate it? A five. All right, five out of five cats for the sour gum. Up next, we have the Kurasatsuma Sweet Potato Stick. So, uh, it's this angry fella right here. It looks like another sweet potato snack. Uh, while you might not be able to get your hands on a freshly baked Japanese sweet potato, these crunchy purple sweet potato sticks will do the trick. Enjoy. So yeah, it comes with a nice little, kind of reminds me of like a uh, French fry. Like, oh. a, like a, you know, like a French fry box. All right, so it comes with, it comes with a separate packaging inside. Are they crushed? Oh, they're, they're crushed. Yeah. They're supposed to be like pocky, like, like, like long, uh, biscuit sticks, but I don't like how it smells. It just smells like sweet potato. <laughs> All right, I'll try one. Oh yeah, they're good. I got a, they got a trip tomorrow, so I'll probably eat these on the on the drive down. <laughs> I give it like a maybe a two. I just taste too much like sweet potato. Wow. Dang, it. she does not like sweet potato, so that's why these are rated so low. But if you like sweet potato. You'd probably really enjoy that sweet potato uh, biscuit stick. All right, next up we have the Ginza Rusk White Milk. This looks fancy. Look, look at the look at the package. All right, these white chocolate covered vanilla drizzled biscuit chunks are known as rusks in Japan. They are made for a uniquely delicious and delicate treat. Hmm. Sounds fancy. All right, so they come in like little cube cube thingies, cube biscuits. That smells like smells like uh, like oh, vanilla sorry. or milk. My bad. I thought it, it smells like vanilla milk, kind of. What do you think? Mmm, tastes like wafer cookies. Mmm, okay. Like vanilla wafers? Yeah, yeah, but like like you know like like when they're coated in chocolate. Sure, sure. It's very creamy. I like it. I give that. I give that like a five. All right, That's a good. nice fat five. Cats, fat cats. Five cats for the Ginza Rusk white milk. All right, up next we have the da 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 pocky pulpy strawberry. Wow. As you know, I'm sure all of you guys have Pocky sticks before. They're just little biscuit sticks. And usually two flavors are chocolate covered or strawberry covered. And these are strawberry pulps inside of the cr strawberry cream. So That's it's like chocolate. That's yeah, like extra strawberry. Right, chocolate? Oh yeah, I think so. I think the sticks are chocolate. Let me, let me read the description. So who doesn't love a delicious pox of, box of Pocky? Uh, the bitterness of the cacao pretzel sticks. Oh, there you go and the sweetness of the strawberry chocolate coating with pieces of dried strawberry make for a delectable combination. So usually it's like a plain biscuit. Oh yeah, that definitely smells like strawberry. Uh, this is a dark cacao biscuit. So it's a chocolate biscuit stick covered in strawberry and strawberry chunks. Wow, are you just, okay. She's, she's contemplating. What do you think? I couldn't taste the strawberry. Huh, I could, I could definitely smell the strawberry. The strawberry was like very apparent. You could really, really, really smell it. Let's try again, let's try again. <laughs> Let me just eat another one. So, you know, just, just to be sure. You. Can, I can't taste the strawberry. But you can taste the chocolate, right? Yeah. Okay, Okay. well, I mean, do you like chocolate pocket? I, I do, I just I was okay. expecting more strawberry. Um, a four? Okay. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, it tastes okay. good. So a four for the pocky pulpy strawberry sticks. Uh, up next, we have the Omaibo Tonkatsu sauce. <gasps> tonkatsu! Yeah, we, we get this about every other Japan crates. Omaibo is this like, they're basically these really big Cheeto puffs and they have a lot of different kind of flavors. We had um, takoyaki, we had yakisoba, there's like sweet corn, uh, there's cinnamon, there's uh, apple pie. So they got like sweet and or savory type omaibos. And uh, this one, yeah, is a tonkatsu sauce. So it's, it's probably, it's, it's savory. It's probably gonna taste fairly heavy. These are light. Some yeah. of these are actually really heavy. Yeah. And like the yeah, flavor so they're, just Yeah, they're just through. really big uh, puffs. It doesn't smell like tonkatsu though. I can smell it a bit. Yeah, I can kind of smell it. Does it taste like tonkatsu? Oh, you just... She just licked the powder off of it. The, the, like the tonkatsu flavor powder. It definitely tastes some sort of flavor. It tastes more like, it tastes more like yakisoba than tonkatsu huh. though. I would not recommend licking the powder off. <laughs> it's a little heavy. Yeah. Go to five. It's really good right. actually. Five out of five for the 
tonkatsu in my boat. We have two more. We usually end with the drink, but before we do the drink, we have the limited edition Kit Kat. So every Japan crate comes with a limited edition bag of Kit Kats here. This month's flavor is orange. With chocolate. Orange and chocolate. So she loves orange and chocolate. Oh, I'm not too fond of like an orange and chocolate candy, but here we are. She loves the stuff. So if you love Kit Kat, then you'll surely love these. This fall seasonal flavor features the perfect blend of smooth milk chocolate and zesty orange that pairs perfectly with fall coffee. I love. Yeah, she loves orange chocolate. It tastes so, so good. <laughs> kind of melty. All right, orange chocolate Kit Kats. Sounds like a very interesting flavor. I'm so happy. All right, I, I, th I think she likes it, guys. All right, I'm assuming. Five. All right, five out of five cats for the orange Kit Kats. Mm. The last thing here is uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Cafe Aulat. Aulat? Gojo Sensei! Yeah, so uh, this is a coffee. So it's milk coffee, and this is a Jujutsu Kaisen uh, collaboration here. And on the front, we have Gojo Sensei. She doesn't like coffee. I usually drink these, but since she's rating them, to uh, do a little taste. So she's not, she does not drink coffee. She's not a fan. She hates bitter drinks. So. <gasps> But she does. She's the one who does the rating. Um, I love coffee, so I'm. It's I'm, for Gojo. I'm probably gonna down this. It's for Gojo. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you what do you rate it? I give it a three for Gojo Sensei, but that's it. I hate oh, coffee. Okay, so it's a, a zero three. otherwise. <laughs> three for the uh, Jujutsu Kaisen coffee featuring Gojo Sensei. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this month's Japan Crate for the month of November. Once again, if you want some Japan Crate, if any of this stuff looks cool, if you want to try out December, January, and all their themed, seasonal themed crates, go to japancrate.com, use code DPD, that's D P I D D Y to save yourself $3. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.